Hi everyone, this is Marianne and today I am here to talk about weddings. So today I am going to talk about my experience but also how to plan a wedding in two months in LA, Los Angeles, California with a restricted budget. Yes, that's a long title but basically that is what happened to me. Um, yes, I planned a wedding with like a hundred guests in LA with a restricted budget in two months. That's crazy, I know. That's why I wanted to talk about it and give you all the advice that I can give you if you're in the same situation or yeah, if you just want to know how to, you know, save some money here and there. And yeah, without further ado, please take a seat take a blanket, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, because this video is gonna be very long. Also, I am gonna do a video about why did I have three weddings and how is it possible that I had three weddings with the, sum, the same person. <laughs> uh, I am gonna do that just after this video, I think. I'm gonna just film, because I know that you guys are gonna have some question about that. But anyway, the first thing that I have to talk about is, I think the most important, and it is help slash friends. You are gonna do stuff by yourself, but also you're gonna try to find help in everything that you do in your wedding and you're planning the important day. So basically every friend is gonna bring something, help to you. Um, so for example, my friend Laura, she helped me for the decoration. I told her exactly what I wanted. I bought the decoration and stuff and I told her, you know, I want this kind of flower with this kind of flower. And yeah, the day of the wedding, she was here from the beginning to the end um, to do the flowers and the decoration and she was extra help if I needed something. Um, so it is very good to have a friend or multiple friends that can help you before and after the wedding. One friend that I was so thankful for is Misa. Um, she is my Japanese American friend and she and her whole family uh, were here for help, uh, helping us after the wedding, like cleaning up everything. And I am so thankful to have such good friends because yeah otherwise we have to find people to do that and that's money so yeah <laughs> so yeah the first thing is help and friends that is very 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 huge and very important the second thing and i think the most important except like guests and friends is the space so basically in la there's a lot of wedding venues and it is very expensive because usually it's like hotels or restaurant and they charge a bunch of money for doing a wedding. And especially if it's a wedding, then it's more expensive. So basically what I did is I searched on internet for a huge space. Um, I was looking at hangars and like huge like warehouse and stuff like that. And yeah, I personally did a studio in downtown LA. It was pretty cheap compared to other places. And yeah, if you want to save some money, it's, it is better to do everything by yourself. And of course, you're not going to have any wedding planner. I already had a wedding in France so I already knew what I needed and, and everything so it was much more easier for me. That's why I decided to do it all by myself and again my budget was very very restricted because the fact that I already did my wedding in France. But yeah, space, go on the internet and find the a very big place. That's that's my advice. Um, go for warehouse, hangar, and studios. When you look at studios and places to do your wedding, um, you have to make sure that there's parking and there is also toilets. Um, so usually that kind of uh, hangar and, and that kind of huge space like studios and warehouses 
Uh, they don't have a lot of toilet and if you are planning on doing a big wedding, like more than 100 people, then I would suggest to look at the toilet, especially because um, usually they don't have like multiple toilets. You, maybe if you're lucky, they will have two toilets. Um, in my space, um, there were just one toilet and we had 100 guests. So what I did is I went on internet and I find a, um, you know, those trailer, VIP trailer toilet. It doesn't cost a lot and actually we paid, I think we paid like 300 for like two trailers. And um, actually the day of the wedding, we were so lucky that the guy just gave us twice the amount of trailers. So we had like, like a bunch of trailers sitting out um, in the parking area so that was cool so yeah that is um, well that is the third thing most important when planning a wedding is the toilets um, so yeah if there is not on the site then it's good to um, rent a trailer and apparently those are so good and I didn't get the chance because I was so busy that day that I used the toilet in the studio. There was just one toilet and I used that one. Um, so I don't know, like I didn't go out to see the toilet, but apparently it was very, very clean and very spacious and people really liked it. Number four is the food. And if you are a food lover, a big, big foodie as me and my husband, I think it's very, very important to find the right food catering for your wedding. Again, it depends on people. What do you want and how many guests you have? Um, some people have just trucks like in and out or taco trucks and I think it's totally fine. We are so blessed that we had some friends in LA that have businesses and restaurants and um, we have a friend that gave us the opportunity to have the food from his restaurant and so it was so good because again it, it was even more special because he was doing the food and we we already know the food we already love his food and we talked about the menu and you know he was so generous to help us uh, doing the food and so he bring um, a lot of stuff there was plenty of food it was so delicious it was even more special because it was our friend doing it and he bring also some helpers to serve the food it was a buffet style and you know self-serve um, buffet and yeah people really liked it because usually at the at weddings it's like courses and the food quality is not that great but that time because we knew exactly um what he can do and because we already know the person and know the food that he's doing um yeah we we were so satisfied and so happy to have that food so if you want to save some bucks, um, I would say trucks, I would say try to find a restaurant that you go often. Yeah, and if I can add something, um, don't do a bar. I mean, it would be nice if we had a bar, but it's a lot of money and actually not a lot of people drink alcohol on my wedding. Um, so what we did is we bought, I think we bought like 40 bottles of white wine, 40 bottles of red wine, and it was just self-serve. And I made like a, a huge jar with like water and cucumber, mint, stuff like that um, in inside it, of it. So it was very pretty. And again, a lot of friends um, helped us opening the bottle and just you know it was very casual and it was very free and I think it was even more special because you know everybody just do whatever they want and um, yeah if you want to drink take it we had huge basset bassinets 
um, like zinc bassinets with like a lot of ice and stuff like that and then people just bring like take everything that they want we had also soft drink and um, I think we had also beer we bought it the week before and we make sure that we find like good quality wine uh, for the wedding but cheap um, and I have some suggestion if you are interested I can do a video about that um, but yeah that's what we did five and it is decoration so decoration it is uh, very important because it is gonna be on your picture and people are gonna you know remember that day and they will probably take picture with their cell phone and stuff like that so it has to be pleasant you know it has to be a wedding you know wedding should be pleasantly decorated so um, what I did is I did the decoration for everything and the space was empty so I was thinking because it was very industrial and very white and very cold um, so I wanted to warm the space up and I really wanted rustic tables uh, it was tough to find the right one to be honest um, and so I ended up doing two different rentals um, the first rentals was for the tables the rustic tables and for the chairs so that was the first rental and I did a rental for everything like plates spoons forks uh, glasses uh, we had only two type of glasses again one fork one spoon one knife one plate and one small plate for the dessert that's it we didn't have any other accessory we had linen um, I decided to be very simple for the decoration and so what I did is I went to the flower district that morning and I bought a bunch of wildflower and I like I made just one um, bouquet to show my friend Laura and then she did it with my mom they helped me doing like I think it was two vase per table and we had ten table um, so they did that and I was very very happy with the ending I also bought a, a bunch of uh, candles and candle holders and vases the same everything is from Michaels or from like flea market um, yeah during two months I was like going to every flea market that I could going even to um, what is it thrift shop also for vases and candles we also so that's the the number six is the rental for Korean ceremony so what happened is my um, husband is Korean American and I lived in Korea for 10 years so um, I love wearing han hanbok and there was a lot of Korean people uh, during our wedding so yeah I just I was like okay let's let's do that and so we did uh, rent a handbook uh, for the Pebec ceremony and the Pebec ceremony stuff so like I'll try to put some picture um, so that you know what is what exactly it is um, the table and then you know the all the stuff for the for the ceremony that um, we rented however I was pretty disappointed by the service that they give us I know that in LA there's not a lot of Korean wedding ceremony maybe like three or four different uh, company and what we did is I think it's most famous um, handbook place and actually yeah I was very disappointed because the quality of the furniture and the service by itself was just okay um, it could have been way better and I, I personally think that I could do a better job for like furniture and stuff like that and and just the management of the service I was very very dis disappointed the quality of the cup like for the tea ceremony for example it was freaking Daiso I was like shocked um, yeah I don't know if I if I do a business like this Pebec business um, I would personally use 
fine furniture and I would maybe you know maybe charge more and just charge like a person coming to that wedding and then doing it for you and placing all the stuff for you because you know furniture are gonna be like toss around and stuff um, and and the furniture is not quite good quality so because it had been like multiple weddings you can see that it's like it's just very old and very it's not good quality so I was very very disappointed about that if there is one business that I would like to do is Korean ceremony like Pebec and like choosing furniture and stuff like that I think I have a good eye for that so yeah but anyway that's not the point of the video number seven eight and nine will be very similar because okay number seven I put DJ number eight photo photographer and number nine MC um, so for us it was a very simple because we have we are so blessed we have friends and actually our pastor is a very good MC and he did multiple uh, weddings so it was very it was very just easy to think oh that's gonna be him that do our that do our wedding um, that is the same pastor that did our first wedding he helped us for the MC part but he helped us also for the DJ and for the for the photographer because he has two sons and they are into weddings a photographer and uh, also a DJ so what happened is one of the son Jason did the photographer for the day and the other son uh, Jordan did the DJ I think it's the best when you know people that are in the field uh, we are very lucky again I would say for the DJ is pretty simple because you just make a playlist um, make a playlist and just you know try to have someone just uh, click on the song and and do the the DJ kind of thing if you don't have any DJ with you um, same for the photographer I know that professional photographer and just amateur is totally different uh, you're not gonna have the same picture before like if you have a real photographer like real professional wedding photographer of course so yeah again I am insisting on number one is help and friends because at the end you I am sure that you have some friends that are talented and they can help you and I'm sure that if they're your friends they will be very very happy to help you on that day asking friends is the key point of a cheap wedding for the length of preparing my wedding it was two months a little bit more than two months and it was very stressful it was yeah it was uh, nerve-wracking but I would say that because of my experience of a wedding in France I already know how is it gonna be but, but I would say it was bigger than I expected so um, that's why it was more it was harder to manage and it was harder to prepare I would say and again I didn't have any wedding planner oops sorry I'm not, I'm not in focus yeah you share that moment your that special moment with your friends um, and your family so yeah I would suggest highly suggest to just ask for friends to help you we are very chill people so we just announced you know this is a buffet this is a self-serve style wedding and you know feel free to go in and out and it was it was very very chill and we had a lot of fun um, and we danced a lot and we we share our love and that was that was that was amazing yeah that is it for today let me know if you have any question stay tuned 
Bye.